Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here after a long, long absence. I'm going to do a short review on a DPMS dedicated upper chambered and 22 long rifle. Okay, so now the piece that I got. Here it is. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, this is the this is the, an upper. That's 22 long rifle, and it is from DPMS, Panther Arms, and um, I went to the gun show looking for this particular piece. This was my goal, was to look for one of these. And I ran across some vendors who had who carried Chiapa and who carried CMMG, okay? Well, the Chiapa, it's 290, um, and the, the, um, the CMMG, was 450 and 470 um, you know, from the two different vendors and so um, the, those dedicated uppers were kind of weird because the, the, the CMMG if you look here see how this is a full sized um, cover well the CMMG is cut off right here and so the door is that big and it's just it's just covered and cut off it just looked weird um, the the what do you call it, the Chiapa the upper receiver was polymer rather than metal okay um, the CMMG was metal but like I said it was cut off right here it just looked weird and it was expensive um, now this one on the other hand a DPMS all metal okay and the receiver's metal and as you can see there's a full size door and uh, this is how it came but without without the scope okay forget the scope this is how it came with with a magazine okay I got this for three ninety nine out the door the magazine was fifteen so I spent four hundred and fourteen dollars for a ten round magazine and this upper and then I went ahead and bought another magazine. As a matter of fact, let me grab it. Here's a magazine, okay? Unfortunately 10 rounds, but you know it they're 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 very nice magazines. They are um, black dog or something like that. Forgive me, I don't know what it is right off the bat. Oh black dog, okay. Black dog machine LLC. Um, they do sell two types. This is the plastic uh, headed plastic feeder and the other one is metal feeder. And basically the guy told me the difference was uh, the metal one is good if you're going to go fully automatic and shoot thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds. Uh, the plastic is just fine. Um, it is a quality product and, and I've read uh, forums uh, on the quality of Black Dog Machine magazines that come with the DPMS, so I was I was satisfied with getting the the plastic lead plastic feeder. Okay, um, now for the scope. The scope. Okay, before you guys crucify me on how shitty a scope this is, sorry, um, I couldn't wait. Um, I did get a good recommendation to get a millet scope. Uh, from Brownells, and I will probably still do that, but I'm just going to go with this for right now, just, you know, because I'm plinking and shooting and having fun with it, so I've yet to sight this thing in and, and get it to work. It is a BSA. Uh, it does have red, green, and blue uh, dots in three different illuminations, and uh, I still have to adjust the elevation and the windage, so that'll be on the next trip to the gun range uh, and it does come with the little cover here okay but it's a it's a pretty decent sight as a matter of fact let me see if you can see something with it there's the there's the view let me see if this will oh honestly I don't know if you can see it let me let me check Oh, that one's on green. Oh, there you go. 
I'm not sure how well this is helping, but I'll go to blue. I have no inkling if you can see that or not. And yeah, I am pointing this at my neck. There's a red dot. Okay, so, and it's got a little, little sunshade right here. Okay. All right, so, you know, very, very basic scope. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really not that heavy on optics. I, I don't know my stuff about optics. But uh, I, I couldn't wait. I had to get something because without this, you see, there's no front sight. There's nothing on here. I couldn't aim it for jelly beans. Okay. Now let me show you the cool part about this. Um, a dedicated upper is good to have because it shoots 22 long rifle and, uh, and the ammo is cheap. Um, and so I can go on and on and on shooting. Um, there were three ways for me to get an AR style rifle that shoots 22 long rifles. The first method is to buy an entire rifle that is 22. And that would be like Mossberg, Smith & Wesson, uh, M&P. There's a few other uh, manufacturers. And that's just to shoot 22 long rifle. The problem with that is I haven't verified this. I'm sure some of you can. Um, but if you wanted to get a 5.56-223 upper to put on your 22 long rifle lower, I don't think it'll work. Um, I just don't think it will work. So my thing is to you know, get a 223 and then buy the upper. Okay, that's the third thing. But the second way to, to have a 22 long rifle um, is to have a charging handle and a bolt carrier. Actually, let me see. This 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 is neat. This came with a dust cover, so it's real easy. I just pop out pin here, pop out pin here, okay, and bang, there goes the dust cover. Okay, there's a the detail on that. So. Here's the bolt, here's the charging handle, okay. Uh, CMMG sells the, the uh, bolt and the charging handle. And that's an inexpensive option, but keep this in mind. Um, I'm sure there are people who can speak to this better than I could, but um, the barrel twist on a dedicated upper and for example, a Ruger 10-22 is 1 to 16. Uh, on, a, on a typical uh, 223 5.56, the barrel twist is 1 to 8 or 1 to 9. Mine is 1 to 9. Okay, uh, And I guess from what people say on the forums and people's opinion is that um, the, um, the barrel twist on a 5.56 at 1 to 9 would not make a 22 long rifle round accurate. So, which is why 1022s, Marlins, 22 long rifle rifles have a barrel twist of 1 to 16. So, you take the risk of having uh, a still a fun gun, but a, with a different bolt and charging handle, the barrel will be the same and it's not going to be as accurate as it could be. So the other option is to get a dedicated upper, which is exactly what I did. The barrel is 1 to 16 twist. Of course it has its own bolt and charging handle. And uh, this is a note to anyone who's actually thinking about this. The charging handle is different from uh, the 223. It's shorter. So you can't, so if you have a tricked out 223, with a nice charging handle, you cannot take the charging handle out of that and use it in a dedicated upper, at least in DPMS's case. Okay, so anyway, uh, let me show you this real quick. Okay, you may remember this. This is my uh, AR-15 um, with Magpul MOE uh, furniture on it. Um, I do like this grip here. And, uh, you know, get the regular stock. Now, this is what's so cool about these AR-15s. 
They're modular, okay? For those of you who are not that familiar, they're, they're modular and you can interchange them. So here's how easy it is to change this rifle from a 223 to a 22 long rifle. Done. That's it. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I do like the fact that it's bull barrel, you know, meaning a you know thick, heavy barrel. And uh, you know, this round foregrip has grown on me. I, I, I like it. Okay. And uh, I don't. I removed the swivel from here. I didn't need it because I do have this sling on here. Okay, Magpul sling. And uh, you know. It's just a single sling, just put it over my head just like that. So, anyway, that's how easy it is. And, you know, you're ready to go. Okay, for you guys who are freaking out, there's no magazine in here. Okay, there's a dust covered door right here. There we go. See? Isn't that neat? Okay, so, there's that. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can. I wanted to pull out the charging handle to show you guys. Show you that I have a little bit of knowledge in edumacation. All right, boys and girls. This is the bolt for the 22 long rifle. This is the bolt for the 223. Okay. Obvious obvious differences, okay? All right. Now, here's the part that I was describing to you. This is the charging handle for the 223 and this is the charging handle for the 22 long rifle. Note the difference in shaft length okay here's a, a little pullback of the overall rifle with the DPMS upper on it and it's really nice with that round foregrip okay here's a final look at my AR-15 the top is the upper in 223 and that's by Delton the next one, of course, is the upright I've been talking about in 22 long rifle by DPMS. And that is hinged onto a lower that is from JD Machine. Now, a dedicated 22 long rifle upper is a great, great option to have when you're looking to fire your AR-15 inexpensively. Um, I highly recommend DPMS. Check them out on their website. And I thank you for watching this video. Thank you, thank you, um, and I am glad to be back. Until the next video, take care, boys and girls.